Oh, my inhaler. I forgot my inhaler. Oh, my gosh. She's having an asthma attack. Oh, my gosh. You're a pre-med student. What do we do? Oh my god, it looks like he needs RS4, 2 terfutal amino, 1 hydroxy ethyl, 2 hydroxy methylphenol, aka salbutamol. What's that? Salbutamol is used in the stuff that's in your inhalers. Let's go make some! Come on! <laughs> salbutamol is a medicine used for conditions like asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease by relieving bronchiospasms. First we start with the Kolbe synthesis, which was discovered by the German chemist Hermann Kolbe over 100 years ago. The mechanism involves a hydrogen bonded complex that are orthodirectors. Salicylate is less basic than a para isomer and therefore predominates under conditions of thermodynamic control. In this mechanism, sodium phenoxide is reacted with carbon dioxide at a temperature of 125 degrees Celsius and at an atmospheric pressure of 180 atm. This produces sodium salicylate and then this is re then reacted with acid and yields salicylic acid, a yield of about 79%. Uh, 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 hurry up! Hey, uh, uh. With salicyclic acid, we then proceed to prepare its acetyl ester derivative, acetyl salicylic acid aspirin, through a process of O-acylation. When treating the acetyl salicylic acid with an aluminum chloride catalyst, a rearranging occurs. This conversion results in an aromatic acid ketone derivative and is further brominated with a neutral solution. When the aromatic ketone reacts with the terfutoamine, it results in an aromatic amino ketone. Lithium aluminum hydride is used to reduce it. The last step in the synthesis of sambutamol is the reduction of ketone on the precursor amino ketone with excess lithium aluminum hydride. It is a donor of hydrogen ions and acts as a strong nucleophile. Andy, Andy, I don't hear anything. Guys, he's not breathing. Andy. Well, I guess he's a goner. Well, there's a great moral to this story. Always bring your medication with you and never trust your friends to make salbutamol for you when you have an asthma attack. <laughs>